National Safe Boating Week is an annual awareness campaign where several different organizations, including the Coast Guard, the National Weather Service, and the National Safe Boating Council come together to put a spotlight on boating safety before the height of boating season arrives. The biggest thing I think with boating safety that we want people to know is uh, that a real boater wears a life jacket. It's part of the boating gear. Um, just like a downhill skier wears a helmet or a real cyclist wears a helmet or a hiker has a backpack and, and a personal locator beacon. It's, there, there's gear that people use for different activities and it is part of the gear to wear a life jacket. Executive Director of the National Safe Boating Council, Peg Phillips, relates wearing a life jacket to wearing a seatbelt in your car. There are many accidents that could happen, including a fast current or cold water or hitting an instruction that could injure you. It's also important to remember to stay safe with not only boating, but during the coronavirus pandemic. The, uh, the Centers for Disease Control um, and our organization, the Coast Guard, is advising that you only go boating with people in your immediate household. So don't invite a bunch of friends to get on your boat. Um, just go with those immediate people. You should also try to limit your stops between your house and the boat launch, sanitizing and social distancing, especially during holiday weekends. Also, do not forget to check your News 5 First Alert Storm Team weather app often to ensure that you're not caught off guard. A lot of people rely on their cell phone. It's the, it's the tool of choice to take out on a boat. Uh, but the thing to remember is if that cell phone gets wet, it's probably not going to work. Um, so it's really important to have other devices out there, your VH radio, so you can communicate with other people, and maybe some other devices to check the weather. Check it before you launch, and check it while you're out on the water, because we all know in those coastal areas, weather can change so quickly, and then we can find ourselves in challenging situations. Especially after a heavy rain, currents tend to be fast. Also, after a storm, down limbs and debris find their way into the water and can be hazardous. Caroline Carruthers, News 5.